Hello everyone and welcome to Highlight Lighting Tutorial. We are excited to introduce our new Zigbee RGB plus tunable white LED controller and remote control. So it is a 4-in-1 Zigbee custom voltage LED controller and it can be set with a dip switch to control single color, tunable white, RGBW or RGB plus tunable white strip. So on the left you have the dial switch for different modes so you can control the RGB plus tunable white or if you change the position of the switch you can control the single color then the tunable white or the RGBW. And then on the strip that you have you have to select the correct setting. Now what we have here is a 150 watt LED driver which is supplying a 24 volts to our two LED controllers which are supplying a 24 volts to a small section of RGB plus tunable white strip. So let's go ahead and power up our two LED controllers. Now when you power them up the LED lights will be on a constant light. So the first thing that you want to do really is to just reset both um, LED controllers just to ensure that any previous pairing um, has been deleted if the controllers have been used before. And um, once you reset to them you will see that the LED lights will blink which will show that the LED controllers have been reset. And uh, what we're going to do now we're going to connect these um, two LED controllers to a Philips Hue bridge which has an inbuilt uh, Zigbee protocol. You just have to ensure that any smart top device that you may use has a Zigbee inbuilt protocol. And if you don't want to use the Zigbee protocol, you can just use the LED controller with the remote control on its own. So let's go ahead and connect the Hue bridge to the um, LED controllers in order to be able to control our um, LED strips. So you will want to power off, then power back on the LED controllers as we have a 15 seconds um, timeout. Then you want to grab your Philips Hue Bridge application, then go into settings, then go into light setup, add light, then search, and the Hue Bridge will begin searching for the um, LED controllers, and it is searching for both um, LED controllers. So you have to give it a couple of seconds, and the light should blink. There you go. Once both lights have been um, connected, and as you can see, we have extended color light one and extended color light two which is our two LED controllers. Then you can just go ahead and add um, the two lights into a room. If you don't have a room already, you can create a new room. Um, so we're just going to create one and make sure to take um, both lights um, to be added into that specific room. And then we're just going to name this room, for example, test one. And then uh, just go ahead and tap done and both lights has now been added to our room test one and we can turn off the lights or turn them back on or if you want to um, control the lights separately you can do that but one of the things that can come quite in hand is that you can control the color temperature um, of the lights through the um, application which can be quite useful and as I said before you can also control the light separately so you can turn off one light and adjust the brightness of the other light or you can also do vice versa so it's um, quite responsive as an application and it's got loads of features that you can explore. It's now time to add the remote control onto our Philips Hue Bridge uh, Zigbee network. So you want to make sure that your remote control has been reset. So the first thing that you want to do is to press and hold onto the power button and then press the power button quickly five times. So your remote control now is ready to be paired to the Philips Hue Bridge um, Zigbee network. So you want to grab the Philips Hue application and you want to go back into your settings you have to please make sure that your remote control has actually been reset then you want to go ahead and tap on the accessory setup add accessory and then you want to select Hue dimmer switch which is the first uh, dimmer switch option then before you go ahead and tap on LEDs blinking you want to grab your remote control press and hold onto the power button until the red indicator comes up then should press ww which stands for warm white then go back on the application and tap leds blinking then you can go back onto your remote control and pay close attention onto the um, led indicator as on the application nothing will actually happen as we're using this dimmer switch just to connect our remote control the remote control will blink five times in quick succession once it's paired and then the remote control will be successfully paired with the philips hue bridge and now we're just gonna go ahead and pair our remote control with the two LED controllers through touch link commissioning. 
and you can either press the program button on the LED controllers four times or you can just turn off then turn back on the LED controllers and you just have to wait 15 seconds before um, pairing the remote control to the controllers. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep them apart and then uh, press and hold onto any zone on your remote control, for example, zone one. Then once the LED indicator starts flashing, you're going to place the remote control on the LED controller. And that is it. The first controller has now been paired. You can go ahead and repeat the same step for the second controller. So you're going to your remote control, press and hold onto zone two, for example. You can select any zone. It doesn't have to be zone two. And then once the LED indicator comes up, you're going to go and place the remote control onto the LED controller. And the LED control is now paired with the remote control. So we've now successfully uh, paired the remote control to the LED controller and it's also been added onto the Zigbee network. So the setup is uh, night complete and you should be able to control the lights either from your new application or from the remote control itself. Now the key thing is to make sure to add the remote control onto the Zigbee network before pairing it with the LED controllers. In this way you'll be able to use both remote control or the Hue application to control your LED controllers. So now we're going to reset our two LED controllers and connect it to the Amazon Echo Plus. You're going to tap the plus sign on the top right of the application. Now tap onto add device. Then you want to go into light. Then you want to tap onto other. And then before we tap onto discover devices, we have to turn off and then turn back on our LED controllers to be within our 15 seconds limit. Then you want to go ahead and tap onto discover devices. And as you can see, the Amazon Alexa will now start searching for the um, LED controllers. Now, the two LED controllers will find the Amazon Alexa Echo Plus pretty fast, as you can see. The application is a little bit slow to catch up, but we're just going to fast forward this step on the application for the purpose of the tutorial. On the application itself, it will probably take roughly 30 seconds before it catches up in real time. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up the light, so you want to choose the device. Now, through the Amazon Alexa application, you can set up one light at a time. So, you're going to set up the first light, the first controller. Skip this step unless you have some groups already set up. Continue. And we're going to set up the second light. Set up device. Skip. And now, both lights have been um, added onto the Amazon Alexa Plus. So, you're going to tap continue and then done. Now, if you go into the actual light, as you can see, the Amazon Alexa Plus doesn't really have the option to control the tunable white. So you will only be able to select the different colors through the option that you're being provided. But we hope that further update will give you the option to control the tunable white if you were to go for a tunable white LED strip. But if you're just using a RGBW strip, then you should be fine with the current selection. So now we're just going to go ahead and um, add a remote control onto the Amazon Alexa Echo Plus. You're going to go back into devices. Then you want to go into add device. Then this time you want to add a switch. Then you can scroll down, go into other. Now before you go ahead and tap on discover devices, you want to make sure that your remote control has been reset. Then you want to press and hold onto the power button until the red LED indicator comes up. Then you want to short press WW so that the remote control can search for the Amazon Alexa Echo Plus. Now on the Amazon Alexa, it will actually find the remote control as a device, but it doesn't add any sort of functionalities onto the application. And once you've done that, you can follow the same steps as we did with the Philips Hue Bridge to pair the remote control to the two LED controllers through TouchLink uh, commissioning. Now, lastly, we have the Samsung SmartThings Hub, which is another um, device with a Zigbee inbuilt protocol, which is also quite good to control them LED controllers. You just have to make sure to download the Samsung SmartThings application on your phone unless you already have it. Now, we're going to go ahead and pair the Samsung SmartThings Hub with our two um, LED controllers. And once again, if you already haven't done so, you can go ahead and reset the controller by pressing the program button five times. Once you've done that, make sure you've downloaded the application, then go up onto the three lines, tap onto devices, then tap the plus sign, 
and scan for the nearby devices. Of course, I've already turned up and turned back on my LED controllers, so they are ready to be discovered. And as you can see, we found both lights. You can just rename one of the lights and we're just going to rename it to light one. Now with the Samsung smart things up, the light gets automatically added onto the smart thing Zigbee network. So you can just go ahead and use the light uh, straight away. Now the only downside is that sometimes you might have a one or two seconds delay when you're trying to adjust the light or the brightness or the color temperature through the application. Now as you can see as we're changing the color through the color wheel there's roughly a one second delay but if you don't mind then the Samsung Smart Team Sub is still a quite good device to choose. Now if we add the remote control we're gonna follow the same exact steps as we did before. We're gonna press and hold onto our remote control which has been reset. Press onto W then the remote control will start searching for the Samsung Smart Team Sub. So you can just go into your application. You can go and search for nearby devices as you did previously with the LED controllers. And as we said before, I won't add any actual functionality onto the application, but we just want to get the remote control on the Zigbee network. And via touch link commissioning, you can pair the remote control with the two LED controllers as we've done previously. That is all. For more information about the products used in this video or the LED controllers, you can visit our website, highlightlighting.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.